Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Readings TikTok. Tonight we are going to be reading the original Amazing Spider-Man 129, which is the first appearance of the Punisher and the first appearance of the Jackal. Got my punny hat on here. So we're starting back. I've got some Punisher in this in the uh in the archive here, I want to start reading through. I figured we'd start with the oldest stuff first. So let's see. He's different. He's deadly. He's the Punisher. But why does he have Spider-Man in his sights? Find out as Frank Castle makes his mighty Marvel debut in an all-time classic from legendary creator Jerry Conway and Ross Andrew. The Punisher's relentless war on crime has enthralled readers for decades, but it all began here. So OG cover, this is from February of 1974. So this was uh, a little over two years before I was even born. Um, I was born in May of 76. So this is taking us back in time. This is a facsimile copy. So it even has the original ads and such on it. Decent amount of... Thickness it may take us a little bit. We'll try to get through this at a decent clip. Stanley presents the Amazing Spider-Man. The Punisher strikes twice. <clears throat> Spac. All right. So you got a Spider-Man statue with the Punisher shooting its head off. Interesting. Magnificent. You demolished the plaster statue on your first shot. If you do as well with the real Spider-Man, my friend, you'll have performed the world a truly great service in a chamber hidden from all prying eyes but ours two men prepare for the death of a certain wall crawling hero and the first step in a master plan of evil takes ominous form look at all this dialogue man man i'm excited i miss the old days of comics the modern shit modern stuff doesn't have any kind of this type of uh, meat and potatoes so what do we have? The punny here, the jackal, I guess. Don't speak too soon, jackal. The action on this concussion rifle is still a little stiff. I need to have the mechanic look it over before I go against the web-slinging menace. Certainly, certainly. But the point is, you can kill him. You think I enjoy that? Of course you do, my friend. That's why they call you the Punisher, isn't it? You like the death, the killing, the joyful revenge. I kill only those who deserve it, killing Jackal. So, no backstory yet. So, first appearance of the Punisher and the Jackal, but I'm sure we'll get into that. Um, so, we've already got the Punisher being established as a badass who's got a reputation for liking to kill. And Spider-Man deserves to die. Boom, he takes out the torso on the statue. Never thought I'd get bored with web-slinging, but right now I'm so absolutely sick of it, I could chuck my web-shooters down the first sewer I see. Okay. Well, Spidey, guess what? It's 1974, and here we are in 2023, and you're still slinging your webs, buddy. So, uh, don't get too tired. It's the air in this crummy burg. Down on the streets, it's bad enough. But up here, in Spidey country, it's positively murder. Speaking of murder, so he's guy he's just flying through the city. Looks like some smoke. It looks like the fair crooks of Manhattan have finally come back from summer vacation. So it looks like there's a robbery in progress. What's he getting his it's his camera or I should get some pretty fine pics for J. Jonah Jameson's news rag out of this. Okay, yeah, he is pulling out his camera. So he spots him, which may just get him off my back about the salary he's been paying me. Of course, if he knew Spider-Man was snapping all these crime photos for him, not Peter Parker. Oh, jolly, Jonah Jameson would simply explode. Okay, so at this point in time, Jonah doesn't know he's Spidey. I don't remember if he ever finds that out. Post in the comments if you're watching this. Does J. J. Jonah Jameson ever find out he's Spider-Man? I'm sure at some point in time that's fucking happened. Boss, look, it's that Spider-Man character we've heard about in Detroit. 
He's coming after us. What do we do? All right, they spot Spotty. Relax, Bebo. From what I hear, he's as much of a crook as we are. He probably just wants part of the take. Okay, so this probably explains the black story. These guys think he's a crook, so the Punisher thinks he's a crook for some reason. Boom, he hits him out. Buddy, you got your wires crossed. I'm not one of the black hats. I'm just your average friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Couple ads. Glamorous iced cologne. So we got you pegged wrong, punk. Big deal. All right. That just means we take you out hard the hard way. But punk, we still take you out. Fat chance of that, handsome. Or hadn't you heard? I got the proportionate strength of a spider. See, look at this little effects like this. Making the, the text pop out bigger. You know, that's a nice effect that I don't really see happening that often in comics anymore. I like that. It adds some, you know, instead of it all being the same font size, just typed in. I mean, big fucking whoop. You know, put a little effort into it. Or hadn't you heard? I got the proportionate strength of a spider. And some of the spiders need abilities, too. All right, so he takes him out. Of course, there's one trick of his I don't have naturally. I'm not what you call a web spinner myself. Get him. I want that punk dead. <laughs> all right, so he got some all he has them all uh, webbed up, but I've got these real fancy gadgets that'll do the job nicely. Not as good as the real thing, mind you, but effective, wouldn't you agree? And so, a few minutes later, if two, as two of New York's finest arrive in a bit, a bit belatedly, you'd think people would stop their cars when they hear a siren. No wonder we never, huh? Whew. Isn't it a little early for Christmas presents? Okay, so they pull up. They see the thugs here that are all webbed up by Spidey. They appreciate the deal. A gift for me to you, officer, though it probably won't do my reputation one bit of good. The entire town is convinced I killed Norman Osborne, thanks to Jameson and the Daily Bugle. Okay, he's thinking these are his thoughts. Even the crooks think I'm one of them. All right, so that's why Punny's, Punny's coming after him. We've got the backstory. And since I don't dare come forward on my own for fear of having my real identity exposed, I just got to suffer. And do I ever suffer? How can I tell them that Osborne was the Green Goblin? That he killed Gwen Stacy, the girl I loved? And the now classic Spidey 121. Editorial references. Take note, Modern Comics uh, uh, editorial staff. Who would believe a known public menace? And worse, what do I even want to tell him? What would it do to Harry, my best pal and roommate? Osborne was his father. Bad enough his dad's dead, but if he found out the truth... Okay, you get lots of backstory here. Spidey doesn't know that Harry already has found out the truth. Guess there's nothing I can do. Only, only thing is, is there ever. Alright, he switches back to his normal Peter Parker attire. Man, lots of decent two-page ad spreads in this book. So he's back. Look at Peter. Look at those sideburns he's rocking back in the day. He's got a little, little curl action. Oh, the heck with it. Why does Peter Parker always have to be cheerful anyway? Forced smile. Peter, I've been looking all over for you. Well, here I am in the flesh, Betty. Is old man happiness in? He's with Joe Robertson, but that isn't what I wanted to talk to you about, Peter. Ned Leeds and I are going to throw a party this Christmas. We were hoping you could be there. I'll check my fabulously crowded social register, Betsy. Or Betty. But I'd say it's a safe bet I might make it. Thanks, Peter. I know we haven't been as good friends as we once were, and I hope... So do I, little lady. See ya. 
I go to beard the lion in the tiger's den. <laughs> Hi, Robbie. Hello, JJ. I've got some news photos for you, fresh from the shooting. Peter Parker, long time no see, amigo. Parker! <laughs> He's always yelling, Parker. That's my name, JJ. And have I got pics for you. Spider-Man breaking up this armed car robbery. Don't mention that costume freak in my presence, Parker. And don't give me this nonsense about robberies. I want news photos, Parker. Take a look at this, Peter. Photos about news. So we got a picture here. It looks like uh, the Punisher, I guess. Punisher starts war against mom. The New York Star? I didn't even know you allowed your rival's paper in the building, JJ. Uh-oh. The Punisher. Hmm. I heard about him. You heard about him? That's good, Parker. That's excellent. He's only the most newsworthy thing to happen to New York since Boss Tweed. And you've heard of him? Lord, do I deserve this? Do I truly deserve this? You want pictures of him? Is that it, JJ? I wonder why they did that in blue. I wonder what that represents. Yes, you idiot. I want pictures of him. And I want him now. Man, he's on his ass all the time. So why didn't you just say so? Here, JJ, in the meantime, fill up space with a robbery. The developing comes out of your salary, Parker. Do you hear? Out of your salary. <laughs> uh, Jameson's always yelling. A short while later, in the dingy sky over what was once the world's largest city, easy for Jameson to say, but how do I find this Punisher guy? He's not going to be advertising himself in, uh-oh, well, I think he's found you, brother, because he has you in his sights. Hold it. There's something wrong. My spider sense is beginning to t tingle. He feels it. That means there's danger. But what sort of danger? And where's it coming from? Can hardly stand. It feels like my mind's on fire. What? What the hell is happening to me? One second now. Fire! Holy crud! Foom! Okay. Holy crud. <laughs> Gotta keep it PG. Gotta keep PG in the 70s. Some sort of concussion projectile. If it had hit me instead of the abandoned tenement, I'd be a mushroom cloud right now. Wait a second. On that rooftop across the street, a glint of silver. All right, he spots the guy with the gun. I thought he was a crack shot. How did he miss? It's him, the Punisher. I know I wanted to find the guy, but this is a little extreme. Whoops. He's heading towards that air shaft. Probably wants to escape. All right, Punny takes off. Sorry, pal, but I'm afraid I can't let you run on me. There are some questions I want you to answer. Mainly... Why are you trying to kill me? Hey, if you're not half bad at this acrobatic stuff, are you, fella? All right, so he's got some skills. Spidey, let Spidey represents Punny's uh, acrobatic uh, skills. I'm an expert at many things, murderer. And for your information, I was trying to escape. Uh, I wasn't trying to escape. I was merely trying to reach this. So he had another gun on backup. Your kind of scum has ruled this country too long, punk. And I'm out to put a stop to it. Everybody's a punk in the 70s. You're a punk. Punk ass punk. Any way I can. All right. He shoots. What's this? It's like a. Whoa, friend. We got our signals crossed. I'm not a. Hey. Oh, boy. Some sort of titanium alloy wire. Bundling me up like a thread on a spindle. How do I get out of this? Look, Punny's got him. Punny's got him on lock. It's not something I like doing. It's simply something that has to be done. And I've got nothing loose by risk nothing to lose by risking what's left of my life, wiping out your kind of parasite. You're always you're all alike, using whatever means to get control of the public. Drugs, gambling, loan shark operations, some of the, the legitimate some of it's legitimate, but all of it evil. Sometimes I wonder if that evil's rubbed off on me. But I know it doesn't matter. All that matters is the job. Like I said, I don't enjoy it, but look at Punny's hair and face here. He's a slick back. Look at big old eyebrows, man. All that matters is the job. Like I said, I don't enjoy it, but I did it. I broke free. Yeah, of course. What? That wire was strong enough to hold ten men. You can't. 
Look, dude, it's Spider-Man. What do you think? I got a secret to tell you, pal. Boom. Uh, Punny takes it to the chin. I'm not Tin Man. I'm your friendly neighborhood. Oh, forget it. All right, we're at the halfway point, folks. What are we, 15 minutes in? Decent clip. No, the Punisher underestimated Spider-Man's strength. My entire plan is coming apart. I have to do something. If the Punisher is captured, he might tell Spider-Man about me. Okay, old boy comes out. And the time is not yet ripe for the world to learn about the Jackal. Like his namesake, the wiry man in the dark green costume waits till his foe's back is turned and then he strikes. Boom! Clock Spidey in the back of the head. Ha! The Jackal's claws dig deep, wall crawler, and my neg negatively charged electropods. Whoa. Electroprods can also prove quite stimulating. You'll soon not forget this day. <sighs> Blinded with pain, Spidey stumbles away from the treacherous jackal as dot dot dot. He's headed toward the edge. I won't have him die this way, jackal. It, it isn't just... Just... Who's concerned with justice, you fool? Just as long as the costume buffoon is dead. So Gotti, Spidey goes over the edge, falls over. Fortunately for Spidey, the Jack has forgotten our hero's superhuman ability to block out pain. So Spidey leaps off the building, throws up a web to catch himself, somehow managed to catch that ledge. Now if I can only stop my momentum before... Oh, nope, he can't. He goes flying through the window. I was afraid of that. Sorry, ladies. Accidental happen, you know? By the time our heroes extricated himself from the maw of female hysteria and has returned to the roof where he had been fighting the Punisher, he comes back up, gone. I didn't think they'd still be here, but I was hoping there'd be some clue. Whoa, maybe there is. So he found a gun, rice armorers, to the trade. I might have hit the jackpot after all. But before he can follow up on the maker of the strange spear gun, there's only one small problem our wall crawler's friend must attend to first. Ugh. Oh, my head feels like sin he singed it with a hot torch. Say, that reminds me. Johnny Storm said he'd have a spider mobile ready today. Oh, cool. See issue 126, 27, and 28. Run about Roy. I can use the extra cash Corona Motors promised me on delivery. Spider Mobile. Especially since I still have haven't seen Harry to collect his share of the past three months rent. Last time I spoke to him he didn't seem in the mood to talk to me about money. Spidey one twenty seven. So is that also why that was referenced before? Somewhere at the beginning with him not knowing. Spidey doesn't know. Yeah, and doesn't really say an issue. Spidey 127. Okay. Man, I am a case. Here I am getting a couple thousand dollars to build a car for a non-polluting engine. Because Spider-Man is a big name. And I've still got to do my own sewing. Ouch. Alright, he's fixing his costume. A couple thousand. That's a hell of a deal back in the 70s. Next thing you know, I'll give myself hepatitis from a rusty sewing needle. Ugh. Got my thumb. Pain, pain. He's still there waiting for me. This guy's thinking, because he knows I'm the Green Goblin. I thought he was my friend, but I realize now no one is Harry Osborne's friend. I'm all alone. Man, that's Harry? Jeez. Alone with the with my inevitable destiny. We'll worry some more about Harry's sanity next issue. Right now. <laughs> so so Harry's going crazy, but they're lacing in they're lacing in shit for, for future issues, which again, a feature of old school comics that I really dig. Let's look at yet another member of our cast, one of Peter's feminine friends. Mary Jane Watson, have you seen Peter Parker today? Oh, it's Mary Jane. Oh, wow, Professor Warren. Petey told me about what happened when he tried to talk to him the other day. 
Spidey 127. All you know, when all that crazy stuff with the vulture was going on, it's precisely which, uh, that which I wish to see him about, Miss Watson. I'm afraid I misunderstood that he was seeking to help you at the time. Under the circumstances, I naturally want to offer him my apologies. Far out, brother. When I see him, I'll give him the message, Professor. Keep together. Here? <laughs> but do I even want to see Petey again? Do I even want to get that heavy and involved in someone's life? I mean, the things he's been through with Gwen dying. He's not exactly Mr. Fun these days. And if there's one thing Mary Jane's committed to, this great big wooly old world, it's loads and loads of fun. Mary Jane likes having fun. She likes to party. All right, we fly back. Now it's the Punisher smacking the jackal. Oh, I told you I didn't want to do it that way, a-hole, you green naked monster. My apologies. I had no idea he meant that much to you. When I agreed to work with you, jackal, it was with the understanding we were fighting for the same thing, the complete destruction of the crime world in New York. I did not intend to become a common murderer by allowing a man to fall to his death. But he was a criminal. Don't you see? The police couldn't touch him. That's why you had to kill him for murdering Norman Osborne. Why does it matter how he died? It matters, friend. If I ever live to if I ever have to live with myself, I have to know I'm doing the right thing. And letting a man die by accident doesn't qualify. Pitiful fool, I've had enough of your soul searching. Your usefulness is, to me is over finished, he thinks. The jackal must turn to other more profitable things now that Spider-Man is dead. Okay, so he thinks he's dead. But he's not playing. What are you doing now, dude? What does it look like? I'm going to see the mechanic. I want to replace that wire gun your cowardice made me lose tonight. He blames him for losing the gun. Well, do take care of yourself, Punisher. We made such a good team, you know. That's something I'm beginning to seriously question, Jackal. Very seriously indeed. Slams the door on his way out. Okay, now it starts what we in the business like to call climate, cli climactic confrontation. Dig it? Frantic one. That's the place. Rice Armories. Just as it said on that spear gun. Okay, so they're going to meet up again here because um, he's going to get his gun uh, fixed up. Let's see what Mr. Rice has to say about a certain customer of his. The Punisher. It's possible we left him for... It's, it isn't possible. We left him for dead. Come on, gang. See if you can guess who this is. <clears throat> I don't know how he survived, and I don't care. The very fact that he's alive turns my stomach. This time I'll make certain he's finished personally. Honey... Hey, anybody home? Mr. Rice, look, I don't mean anyone any harm. I just want to talk with you. Mr. Rice? He even rang the bell when he came in. Just then, the web slinger's foot touches something soft and yet unyielding. He looks down. Oh, boy. Somebody didn't like you very much, Mr. Rice. The way they slashed you up like some sort of cat. Punisher comes slamming in the window. Now what? Oh, no, it's you again. Won't you ever quit? Boom, kicks him in the face. Not while you're still alive, punk. Yeah. Not while I'm called the Punisher. This is a good art. This fits really good together. Flows really good. You know, for a guy without a fancy costume, you've got the tricks of the trades down pat. I spent three years in the Marines, Spider-Man. I didn't... What? Rice, you killed him too? Somehow I knew you'd say that. Can we talk this over like civilized people? Or do we have to keep this up till one of us gets killed? I don't make deals at murderers, Spider-Man. Especially a man who killed my friend. So, if he, of course he's jumping to conclusions. What she says here. You're jumping to conclusions, buddy. Take a look at your pal's neck. Don't those look... The marks look a little... A uh, bit familiar? I've heard that kind of line before, masked man. For men who kill their own mothers for a price of a fix. So he thinks he's a crackhead. And I don't buy your games. No way, my friend. 
That's too bad, Punisher. It doesn't leave me much choice. Shuts him down. Because if it's a toss-up between you and me, the man I'm rooting for to win is me, of course. That's cool. A few minutes later, when the black cat vigilante called the Punisher has revived, forgive me for being so rough, friend, but I was pretty sure I wouldn't beat you by using the kid gloves. Now, will you look at a little more closely at Rice's body? Do I have a choice? Not much. Lord in heaven, those marks, like claw marks of some kind. I should have been speaking, using that voice the whole damn time. I know precisely what kind, and so do you. I've got a handful of them across the back of my head from that pal of yours. The jackal. He did this, but why? One question first. Did you leave the armorer's plate on that crazy rifle off yours? One, hold on, one question first. Did you leave the armorer's plate on that crazy rival of yours, or was it off? Do you think I'm crazy? Then that wasn't the gun you dropped. This jackal friend of yours took it and replaced it with the one that still had the plate. Again, why? All right, so he set him up with the gun plant. To incriminate you, of course. He knew you'd have to come back here tonight, so he planted evidence the cops wouldn't have found, would have found if I hadn't. Then to tie it up neatly, he killed the old man so you'd find him. He was gone for a while. An hour ago. But what's the purpose? He doesn't get it. You'd get to get rid of you after you'd gotten rid of me. In case you hadn't already guessed, fella, I'm not a murderer. I'm one of the good guys, I think. Then he used me like a pawn. He'll pay for that. Oh, he punches the wall. He'll pay! Say, friend... What's this whole kick you're on? You said you were a Marine, so how come you're fighting over here? That's my business, superhero, not yours. Maybe when I'm dead, it'll mean something. Right now, I'm just a warrior, fighting a lonely war. Here comes the cop, sounds like. Something tells me that man's got problems that make mine look like a birthday party. Uh-oh, police sirens. Five will get you ten, they were tipped off. And I'm naturally... Since I'm the only one visible, they'll lay the whole blame on me. Spider-Man! What did I tell you? This just isn't my week. Spidey goes flying and look, the jackal's here. Well, it appears that you've escaped this time, Spider-Webslinger. But I promise you won't be so fortunate again. If I'm to take over the city, I must first destroy you, and I will. This the jackal swears. You'll learn more about the Mysterious Jackal's plans next issue, all show featuring Hammerhead. So that was it. That was good. That was really good. Good pacing, great art, good storytelling, easy to read. Um, top-notch, uh, top-notch comic book writing. So highly recommend. Pick up a copy of this if you can. Get it into your collection. Until next time, peace.